All right, everyone, I just want to give a quick update here. I know a lot of people have been requesting it, so I just wanted to create a quick video here showing how things have gone. It's been a year, um, actually a little over a year, and things are looking great. I have, I've had zero coral deaths in that year span and nothing but growth, and I'd say pretty good growth. I haven't made a whole lot of changes, but I'll cover some of the things for those learning um, on what saved me and what helped. You know, my last video I was a bit frustrated because I expected a 300 gallon tank to be a little easier keeping the parameters in check and my parameters were good but I, so I wasn't really sure what was actually going on and why I was losing the corals constantly. Never really had a problem with the fish, just the corals. So part of the reason, as mentioned in the old videos, uh, part of the reason I moved from my previous house was to have a fresh slate and build a bigger tank. So I was really disappointed that I couldn't make it work. And it was just bugging me because, you know, it's one of the reasons I moved, you know, other than the fact, you know, this is a unique house, it's a one of a kind build. Um, but, you know, I really wanted to have that large tank and have the room built around that system. So, and that's exactly what I did. You know, this tank was the theme for this basement. This house is unique in the fact that it has two separate basements. So this one's kind of all my own. I do a lot of work from home, but um, it's just nice to sit at my desk after a rough day and enjoy this tank. So I'll kind of zoom in here and show you what things look like, and we can compare it to what the tank originally looked like in the last video. Um, as you can see here, it's been about a year, um, a little over a year, and I've had nothing but great growth. I haven't had any issues with nutrients, no issues with parameters. Um, no coral deaths, everything looks great. I'm ecstatic with where the tank's gone. Trace elements, of all things. I thought I was doing enough water changes, but I wasn't. I never really upgraded my mixing stations, so I can do a lot of water changes at the same time. So I ended up using this product. It's actually a pretty cheap product. It's called Red Sea Trace Colors. It's just a ABCD program. I'm only putting about two millimeters, two milliliters that is, every other day. Um, so hardly any, just enough to make sure that there's something in that tank. Once I did that, everything changed. Corals came back, what looked like dead skeletons started to really grow out. There's a pink lemonade here that was essentially gray and one little stem, and I was getting ready to throw it away. And about a week later, after dosing those trace elements, everything started coming back. So that tells me I wasn't doing enough water changes. And I think my tank was depleted. But once I got those in check, everything was great. And I actually used cyano. It, when, the, when the sand bed gets a cyano breakout, it's pretty clean right now, but when it gets a cyano breakout, I kind of tone back the trace elements and I start doing water changes instead. And then as I see colors start to fade slightly, I, I kind of up the, the trace elements. Not the best way of going about doing this, but I'll be honest, I don't like testing for these things. The test kits for some of the trace elements, in my opinion, suck. So I'll take you back to the fish room here and show you what I did with my lighting. So the fish room is behind it. I've got a side viewing panel right here. As you can see, there's a lot of depth to the tank. I love this shot. So, big change was in the last video, I had AI fixtures, Hydro 52s. I only had four of them, um, and, I, and I, I wouldn't say that was the problem, because uh, I kept those on for a while, and the tank started recovering in a big way with those lights, um, and the trace elements really are what did it. I decided to change the lights just because I love the way the Radions look. I, the Radions alone, I switched to G4 Pros, so I went with, um, I went with five G4 Pros, and I don't feel they made a difference in the growth, maybe in the colors, um, it's hard to tell over that time period, but I just love the way the LEDs look, I'm a big fan of them. I, I prefer LEDs to T5s. Now because the tank was starting to grow out, um, I, I was getting some shadowing, and I didn't want corals that overpowered other corals to kill the corals underneath them. So I added these hybrid lights, they're actually really well made, they're the Aquatic Life kits. There's two 48 inch kits above this thing and I'm running ATI Blue Plus bulbs. I've got one actinic, true actinic up there, but I'm just testing to see what that looks like. I'm not really sure I like the look, so I'm just gonna stick with all ATI Blue Plus. And I'm running the Ecotech AB Plus profile. So it's a lot of blue, but it's what I prefer. 
for some reason that allows all my reds to pop which to me is my favorite color in the aquarium so I stick to that profile because it just gives me the best look I upgraded my apex unit um, the old one crapped out of me while I was in Mexico of all things it's worked fine since 2008 and it died and left my co2 uh, open and really my reactor got down to 6.2 pH uh, nothing really melted which is crazy but my alkalinity went from 7.5 all the way up to ten and a half um, over the course of two days. Luckily I had no death. Um, so I've been pretty lucky with this tank uh, ever since this last update. Um, here's the mixing station. Again, this was designed for a, a 150. Those are only 55 gallon drums. So I don't, I can't do, I can only do 55 gallons at a time. And anyone who knows how these uh, um, DI filters work, they're not fast. It's, it's something I can't quickly make water um, and being out here I'm surrounded by two acres of forest so I am on a septic system I don't like dumping salt water down the septic drains so I do use this can that's kind of a mess right now right there to take that water out and I dump it down the hill because I just don't trust putting it in the septic system I know a lot of people say it's okay but I'm not gonna tempt fate on something that's very 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 expensive to replace so everything looks good you know I've finished out this room since then and made it a nice living space a little extra place to sit down and watch TV while I enjoy the tank but all in all everything's been great so if you have any questions feel free to throw them in the video thanks everyone